What's happening in the industrial automation world? Hey, I'm Mike. I'm the marketing manager for Sky Equipment Company. Today we're excited. Andy Zaski is here from Tolomatic and he's going to tell us about their IMA actuator. IMA stands for Integrated Motor and Actuator. And he's got a great cutaway of the actuator. He's going to show you why it works and why Tolomatic's built such a great actuator that you need to know about. Take it away, Andy. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate the opportunity here. I'm Andy Zasky with Tolomatic, and what I wanted to do today in just two minutes is give you a quick preview into our integrated motor and actuator. I'm not sure if you've looked recently, but trying to find a servo motor is like trying to find gold right now. They are very challenging and lead times are very long. So what I have to offer you here is a very compact and innovative product that combines an, a servo motor along with an electric linear actuator. And I'm going to take you inside the, the details of what's going on here and uh, give you a quick preview of, uh, of the innards here so you understand how it all functions. Uh, these come in several different sizes. So we've got four different sizes. They go all the way up to five or 6,000 pounds of force. They can move out to 18 to 24 inches of stroke length. They come in 316 stainless steel or anodized aluminum, and we have a white painted version as well. So uh, kind of cover a broad spectrum of applications and opportunities. Uh, with this innovative product and then you can drive it with any sort of servo drive that uh, is your preference. So if you're a Rockwell user using Allen Bradley, we've got all the blob files and add-on profiles and add-on instructions to make it very easy to get this motor and actuator up and running. We work with Siemens, we work with B&R, etc. on and on and on, NEDAC, etc. So maybe you can come in a little closer and we'll take a look at what's going on inside. So as we drill into this integrated motor actuator, we've got a cutaway here which shows you a lot of the parts that are moving around. So I'm going to start from the outside and work my way in. Outside we've got a connector. We can do a single connector or a two connector. This controls power and controls from the drive. You come in a little bit deeper, we have the stator. The stator is actually embedded into the housing of the actuator. This is the copper windings here for the motor stator. It's a skewed uh, winding for this motor. Then you come in the next level, you have the rotor. The rotor has the magnets. These are the permanent magnets on the rotor. The rotor is what moves inside the motor and creates motion. So you get rotary motion from the motor. This rotor then is hard coupled to a screw and that screw goes right down the center. So it's a hollow core rotor. The screw is connected to this rotor. So whenever the rotor moves, this screw back here moves as well. And so as the rotor moves, the screw turns and as the screw turns this nut is forced to move forward or to move backwards along the length of the actuator and so you have a couple benefits here one it's very compact but two you have this rigid connection so it's very responsive you have an encoder in the back of the housing here this is counting the revolutions in either direction and so at a hundred percent of the time you know exactly where it is you have infinite positioning capability, you have control of velocity, both acceleration and deceleration. And then if you look a little bit deeper inside, we have actuators that have both ball screws, but this one has a planetary roller screw. And so you get about eight to 10 times the life of a ball screw with a roller screw. So if you have a heavy duty sort of application where uptime and reliability and uh, ongoing uh, performance are really critical, uh, I suggest you take a look at our uh, roller screw. And then on the other side here, we'll look at the uh, thrust rod coming out. We've got a Zerk fitting here for uh, easy maintenance. Once or twice a year, typically, you would put a little grease through this Zerk, and that's the uh, maintenance that's required. You have a couple different ways to attach the rod ends as well as attach the body. So again, this is the inner workings of the integrated motor actuator. Like I said before, this is a uh, sophisticated uh, device, but it's put together 100% by Tolomatic here at our facility in Minnesota. We have all sorts of application engineering support and sales support uh, to complement the work that Scott Equipment does with you out in the field. So if you think you have an opportunity and you have an interest in applying our IMA product into an application, either a washdown environment or something in a more industrial setting, Please reach out to the Scott Equipment team, uh, get in touch with them, and we'd be happy to talk to you more about some of the benefits and applications of this integrated motor and actuator. Andy, we know you're super busy and we appreciate you taking a few minutes to explain the Tolmatic IMA actuator to our customers. If you have any questions about Tolmatic, reach out to your local Scott Equipment Company account manager 
or email us at marketing at scotteq.com. Again, thanks for taking some time to watch our video and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for some more great industrial automation videos. Thanks.